Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from Homemaker. Before I start with our today's video, I would like to thank all our viewers who have liked and subscribed to our channel. And if you haven't done it so far, please don't forget to subscribe for our new releases every week. So friends, in our today's video, we will be talking about this monster plant known as Monstera Deliciosa. These plants are tropical vining plants from the Eraceae family um, and they are native to the tropics and rainforest of Mexico and Central America. So friends, these plants are also known as Swiss cheese plants because of their beautiful iconic ribbon um, splits and the holes that they have, the leaves of these plants have. And they are very easy caring house plants, um, air purifying plants, very beautiful, bright, big leaves they, these plants have got. Um, and these plants do really good if they are provided with the right amount of light, uh, water, nutrients and everything. But still, you might see some of the changes in the leaf color or the drooping of the leaves, yellowing or browning. But the good thing is that all these problems are, can be fixed very easily. Um, and that is what we will be talking about in this video. So please stay with us till the end of this video. So friends, starting with problem number one, that uh, the leaves of your Monstera are turning yellow. So yellowing of the leaves is a sign of overwatering, and that can happen very easily. Like we all tend to, at one or the other uh, point, we um, tend to overwater our plants. So there's nothing to worry about of the yellowing if your plant is having yellow leaves. The only thing is that you be very mindful when you are watering your Monstera. Only water your Monstera if the topsoil dries out. The best strategy is to check your soil before you water it. Now how you can check your soil is with just sticking your finger deep into the soil. Now you need to make sure how deep uh, you know you are sticking your finger into like if you have a bigger pot you need to go very deep inside to see uh, if your soil is completely dry but if your pot is smaller just a couple of two to three inches is just enough um, to check if your soil is dry water your plant only if you do not feel any any moisture into this in the soil because the soggy soil um, can cause root rot and root rot is a number one killer for any house plant. So be very mindful when you are watering your plant. Make sure that the soil is well draining soil. It has got enough of perlite. It has got enough of maybe pumice. If you don't have perlite, you can use charcoal. You can use pine bark um, uh, or coarse sand in your soil to provide that extra drainage to the soil and also make sure that the pot has got enough of drainage holes for the excess of water to seep through. Now another reason for yellowing of the leaves could be undernutrition. So if you have not fertilized your plant during spring and summer season and your plant um, has been sitting in the same soil for a long time, uh, you haven't changed the soil as well, then your the leaves of your plant can also start turning yellow due to undernutrition. So make sure that you fertilize your plant with a complete liquid fertilizer during spring and summer season once in a month to provide that extra nutrition to your plant. The third problem, the third, uh, sorry, reason why your um, plant leaves are turning yellow could be the sudden change in the temperature. So if your plant is sitting very close uh, to a heater vent or an AC vent or you know a place where there are lots of cold drafts near the window or the door, the sudden temperature changes can also cause the leaves to go into shock, the plant to go into shock and the leaves start turning yellow and it, it will harm the plant. So just move your plant a little bit away from the AC vent or the heater or window or the door wherever your plant is sitting. Just move it away a little bit and uh, make sure that you provide with them with the right amount of temperature, humidity and lighting uh, so that the leaves do not turn yellow. Problem number two is that your Monstera leaves are turning black. So black leaves are caused by root rot. 
which is another uh, another uh, sign of overwatering. So if your plant is sitting in a soggy soil for a longer period of time, the leaves after turning yellow will eventually start turning black. Like one of my leaves have start turning black from the corners. I ended up overwatering my monstera, and that is the reason why you can see these yellow leaves and dark brown black corners so this could be a sign of you know uh, development of root rot so uh, what you can do is that if you are seeing just one or two leaves corners turning black just change the soil if the soil is too soggy repot your plant remove all the soggy soil give your plant the plant roots a good wash remove all cut down all the black or mushy roots um, just leave uh, you know the fresh white roots all the black or brown turning roots just cut them down and then repot your monstera into a fresh pot with a fresh dry soil this time make sure that you do not overwater your plant and you add enough of perlite or pumice or charcoal or coarse sand or pine bark into your soil to provide them with that extra drainage um, that the so that the soil remains airy and it does not hold a lot of moisture into it also remove all the black or yellow leaves from your uh, from your plant because uh, first thing is that um, it's it your plant your whole plant will not look beautiful with the yellow or black turning leaves the other thing is that the plant will does not have to you know waste all its energy on those yellow and black leaves it can utilize its energy in the new growth in a new fresh leaves rather than the yellow or black leaves just remove them cut them the problem number three is that your monstera plant leaves are have are having brown or you know black patches on them um, and the corners of the leaves are turning brown and crispy so that can happen if your plant is sitting too close to a bright direct sunlight and the leaves they get scorched uh, they get burnt and also the, the leaves they get dry and then that that's what happened the corners of the leaves they start turning brown and crispy make sure that the humidity level in the room where your monstera is sitting is the like kind of the normal or the average humidity or maybe just more than average maybe 60% or 50% humidity uh, because these plants are tropical plants they do love humidity and if you are keeping your monstera in an arid and a hot environment with very dry air in it the leaves will start turning yellow they will st the leaves will start having these brown crispy edges on it so just move your plant away from the very bright direct sunlight because these plants prefer bright indirect light not direct light problem number four is that monstera leaves are not showing any splits or holes in them now there could be two reasons why your plant is not showing any splits or fenestrations in them the first reason is that your plant is very um, small it's very young so you need to have a little bit of patience let your monstera mature a little bit and then the mature uh, plant the mature leaves will start showing fenestrations on them like in my plant also if you can see um, the lower leaves they do not have any fenestrations like look at the size of the leaf it's so small tiny it does not have any fenestrations on it but whereas when the plant matures the leaf they will become bigger with all these fenestrations on them now if you think that your plant is big enough mature enough to have fenestrations but still the fenestrations are not coming then the reason could be that your plant is not receiving enough of bright indirect light so if your plant is sitting in a dull and dark corner it's not going to show any fenestrations fenestrations are basically these holes and splits in them so move your monstera in a place where it receives bright indirect light um, and you will see that the newer leaves will start showing some splits and fenestrations Problem number five is that your monstera leaves are drooping down. Now drooping of the leaves can happen due to underwatering also and overwatering also. So now you need to see that whether you are underwatering your plant or you are overwatering your plant. If you are underwatering your plant, make sure you water your plant regularly. Don't wait for the soil to become bone dry. You can uh, wait 
till the top soil dries out top half of the soil dries out but don't let it to uh, the soil to become completely bone dry because it's going to harm your plant in long run um, check the soil before you water it um, make make sure that your soil is dry uh, and then you water your plant and uh, make sure that your the soil is well draining and there are enough of drainage holes so that your plant is not sitting in a soggy soil now drooping of the leaves can also happen if your plant is infested by houseplant pests such as mealybugs thrips aphids scales um, white flies or fungus gnats or spider mites just inspect your plant thoroughly look for all these tiny little creatures um, that are sucking on the energy of your plant if you see any of those tiny creatures just give your plant a good wash firstly and then use uh, neem oil solution or baking soda solution or hydrogen peroxide solution to get rid of those house uh, plant pests from your plant and you will see your plant will recover soon so uh, friends these were some of the very common five problems that you might see with your monstera i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you have any questions or queries please leave them in the comment section and give us a thumbs up if you really like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informational and uh, exciting videos and we will see you next time with another video till then stay safe happy gardening bye bye